Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Officer Crab One, and today I want to go over some more Alice information and screenshots we've gotten. And the first information I want to go over was this post by Jat, which is I've seen this come up a few times, so I do want to clarify that this game will not be region locked. Additionally, we'll have both NA and EU networks available with more server regions to follow subsequently. Now, this is basically just it's not region locked, um, which I don't know, a lot of people have issues with. I don't really care that much about that. And something we've already known that there will be NA and EU servers, which is a PVE and a PVP version of both of those at the start, and more region more regions to come. So, you know, just other servers, probably PV and PvP for other regions and stuff like that. Then we go to this first image, which shows some new animals in the game, which is pretty cool. Now the description is navigating the jungle river rapids on a rickety raft. An adventurous explorer spots some of the region's wildlife, including giraffes, elephants, rhinos, and tigers, among others. Now, I haven't been, find, been able to find others in this screenshot at all, but you can easily see there's an elephant right, he right here, which we've seen before farther away, but we get to see it up close. There is a tiger right here, which these look pretty cool, especially this tiger. Like, they're completely new models. They're not rip-offs from art or not rip-offs from art they're not assets pulled directly from arc um so they do look really unique and they in my opinion i think they look really nice then right here we have a giraffe and then we have a rhino behind it which i actually couldn't tell what this is before i re read the description because the horn kind of does blend in but the rhino does look like it has scales or fur at the top so it does look a bit different than what i don't know you'd be you normally think a rhino would look like but I do think these do look really nice the models look to be much higher quality than dinosaur models in arc overall even though the water right here does look like it's um, like scaled down or has a lower graphic quality than the ocean water we've seen the rest of it does look to be okay now it does also seem that some of the stuff has already changed like some of the other trees we've seen um these look to be changed now it could just be different types of trees but even the grass and foliage and stuff looks to be changed um we do know they've been changing textures from arc that were placeholders from the trailers so this could be that they're you know this is a different build that has newer textures that might be um they might have a lower quality than maybe the game will launch with or that the game will have in the future. So keep that in mind that these could be builds that don't have the highest graphical quality or that don't have, you know, the settings bumped up or stuff like that. Doesn't necessarily mean the graphics are going to look like this when the game is released. Even though I do think they look decent, like the water and stuff specifically here looks toned down a bit. Now the next one, they did, they did release some music, which I'll play. So it's basically just some music, some in-game music um, that you can listen to or download it if you want to. Then we have this newest image, which is a lieutenant frantically attempts to put out a deck fire after a liquid flame attack, or was it from fire arrows? Or perhaps that drake overhead? In any case, buckets can be used to douse a fire, bail out a sinking ship, transfer water between containers cool someone down and more just be sure you know the difference between salt water and fresh water so there's a few things we get from this description um, first your ships can catch on fire a liquid flame attack so we never have heard anything about that before um, we knew about fire arrows that they talk about those in the in one of the PC gamer articles but liquid flame attack we don't know what that is it could be maybe some type of firebomb or maybe there are certain rounds that cause this. So he's so the ship's on fire. Um, the dragon here. Now they call this a Drake. I don't think it's. I don't 100% remember if it, if they called it specifically a dragon anywhere else. I think they did in the PC you or the PC Gamer UK article. Um, but that is from now developers saying it. And the person calling it a dragon so maybe um, they're just calling them drakes or something I noticed with this is this doesn't have so the dragon or Drake from the trailer had like a blue it looked like a saddle but in other 
parts of the trailer it looked like it was just like a different color along its back so there's a few possibilities it's a possibility this is just the same dragon that we thought was a dragon they're just calling it a drake um which it does kind of look like it there's a possibility that the one in the trailer also just had a different color variation along like its back um or it's a possibility that drakes and dragons are separate things most likely this is just the same thing we saw in the trailer with possibly a different variant on its back um and they're just calling them drakes um now pretty much we also do see that he's carrying a bucket of water um now some of we did get more information that you can use fire in buckets to douse out fire bail out a sinking ship so pretty much bail out a sinking ship is most likely they'll be able if you're in a fight um there'll be holes that'll basically get shot in or destroyed into your ship um, and then water was all coming in so you have to take the water out in buckets or other things and pour it over the side to bail out the ship um, transfer water between containers which I'm wondering since there's a bucket what other containers specifically use water if there's different containers that actually use like water maybe you're using water in rum containers or something like that cool someone down that's a pretty cool feature so in arc they did have um they did have you know the weather effects or the temperature effects you could be cold you could be hot and two variations or extreme versions of being cold or hot and in this they we've already known that there will be temperature effects like that so being able to cool someone down i'm wondering if that's just drinking it or if you'll be able to pour water which it sounds like they're saying you're able to like pour water on people to cool them down which is also pretty cool just be sure you know the difference between salt water and fresh water. I'm wondering if that's specifically just for drinking or if there's other consequences consequences between using salt water and fresh water. I'm sure cooking and stuff like that, you'll need fresh water um, instead of salt water, which would make sense. Um, now with the image, we don't get a ton of new stuff besides the stuff in the description. It's carrying a bucket of water. Um, the flames are here. Seems to be generating quite a bit of smoke. I don't know what this crate is right here. Now we still don't know if all these crates and barrels on the boats are placed by people, if they're just aesthetic stuff, or if they're placed by people and be able to be used. Um, this one looks to be something different. For some reason the side is out of it. And it looks like it's carried from the top, so I don't know what that is. If it's even aesthetics or anything like that. Um, we do see basically wood ships flying around as well which means there is an animation for probably um like your boat being hit and then chunks flying off and losing health holes being blown on the side stuff like that which is definitely a very good animation to have in the game just because it adds aesthetic to the game it adds some more realism it just makes the game feel more alive than just your boat getting hit a bunch of times and you know just a health bar going down or something like that so that's basically everything we have for now the game it's two minutes away from 12 o'clock right now so it'll be the 18th um hopefully tomorrow which it's pretty much guaranteed sometime tomorrow that we will be getting the um gameplay trailer so i can go over that tomorrow and then the 19th we're gonna just have the game um so subscribe if you want to see more atlas content i'll be doing tons of content especially when the games come out about pretty much everything about animal team pretty much everything across the game all the systems showing the skill trees all the type of stuff so if you're on the fence about buying the game you can check out all that stuff when the game is out like the video if you like it leave it down a comment down below what you think about this new information these new images overall your thoughts about atlas and thanks for watching